So let's talk about the Super Bowl hangover. The NFL season kicks off on Thursday night, and the defending champs will host the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Kansas City were defending champs heading into last year, and they lost in week one. So is this Super Bowl hangover thing real or what? Well, we're going to talk about it, but before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com. For a limited time, you can get all my picks in all sports, three days, only 49 bucks. Why would you be interested in that? Well, I did have a couple losses in college football this Saturday. Should you be worried about that? I don't think so. I was 41 and 12, 77% college football in August and September in 2022 and 2023. And NFL, I started the 2022 NFL season on a perfect 10 and 0 run. I'm pretty sure we're going to bounce back in week two. And if you want to uh, take me for a test drive and put that theory to the test, you're more than welcome to do so. Of course, there is no obligation to buy anything. You're also more than welcome to tune in and just absorb the free content. Uh, the only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button, and that will allow me to keep on putting out these videos. Now let's get into the game. we got the Kansas City Chiefs. Minus two and a half at home. The total sits at 46. And the question I posed at the beginning of the video, is there a, a real thing about a Super Bowl hangover? And I am going to say I don't think so. Yes, Kansas City lost as defending champs last year, and the Rams lost as defending champs the previous season. But prior to that, eight straight Super Bowl champs won their opening game of the following season. So Super Bowl winners are 8-2 and two straight up in the last 10 seasons. And Kansas City really has Baltimore's number. The Chiefs have won five of the last six meetings, most recently in the AFC Championship game last year. They went into Baltimore. They won that game by a score of 17-10. to 10. And uh, Kansas City's coaching staff, thoroughly outcoached the Baltimore Ravens coaching staff. Defensive coordinator Steve Spagnolo did an excellent job of play calling, and Baltimore had no idea what to do on offense. They only ran the ball 16 times, and half of those were uh, quarterback rushes by Lamar Jackson, and uh, the running backs did absolutely nothing. The good news for Baltimore, though, they got Derrick Henry. And I know uh, a lot of NFL fans are really excited about Derrick Henry this year. I've heard a lot of people picking the Ravens to go all the way to the Super Bowl. Um, and why not? Derrick Henry is a stud. You, you're not going to find a bigger Derrick Henry fan than myself. If you check out my social media pages, I've got videos of me trying to replicate Derrick Henry's uh, gym workouts. I love Derrick Henry. fact of the matter is he's 30 years old. We haven't seen a 30-year-old running back lead the NFL in rushing for almost a decade, uh, Adrian Peterson in 20, 2015. And you look at some of the other dominant running backs at the age of 30 or close to, look at uh, the likes of Todd Gurley, Lev, Lev Bell, Ezekiel Elliott, Dalvin Cook. And I know everybody thinks, oh, well, yeah, but, you know, you could have predicted that. No, I don't know about that. I mean, Todd Gurley went from dominant to ineffective, just like that. Ezekiel Elliott, also dominant, and then just bang, doesn't have it anymore. Lev Bell and Delvin Cook, uh, they petered out quite quickly. Uh, now, Derrick Henry's a bit of a beast, a physical specimen. He's got a chance to, to be a, an Adrian Peterson-type guy when it, when it comes to longevity. However, Baltimore's offensive line, according to Pro Football Focus, ranks 25th in the NFL. Uh, he's sharing carries with uh, Lamar Jackson. And I'm also concerned about the depth at running back for the Baltimore Ravens. Sure, they, they pick up Derrick Henry, but they also got rid of uh, J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards, leaving them with uh, Justice Hill as the only backup running back that has any real experience. And it, if anything was to happen to Derrick Henry and they have to rely on Justice Hill, I don't think that's going to bode well for this Baltimore Ravens team. Um, at the end of the day, with uh, Andy Reid, Steve Spagnuolo, uh, Patrick Mahomes, and uh, Isaiah Pacheco, Kansas City at home, short line of two and a half. 
I am not going to bet on a Super Bowl hangover here. I am going to take the Chiefs minus the two and a half points in the season opener. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you've got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, you hit me up in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can.